New York began allowing cannabis product retail sales this week at special pop-up events to try to help address a surplus many marijuana growers are dealing with. CBS 2's Tony Aiello went to New Paltz in Ulster County to check out the adults-only farmer's market. It had all the trappings of a traditional farmer's market with tents and tables, curious consumers. I'm happy to have somewhere where I can meet the people who grow my product and I know what I'm getting. And knowledgeable farmers. We've got Killer Queen, Mimosa. But security checking IDs set this adults only market apart. Thursday's event was New York's first ever pop up sale of pot products. Despite the rain, customers lined up as four Hudson Valley farms prepared to make history. They're ecstatic, excited as well to see this turnout, their product moving. Jay Peterson is with Legacy Dispensary of Albany, founded by people who suffered under previous prohibitions on cannabis. The state requires a licensed dispensary at pop-ups to handle all sales, stuff to smoke, to eat, to drink. This really represented a boy have times changed kind of moment. The Cannabis Growers Showcase took place right outside the old village of New Paltz Court, where many people over the years were sentenced for simple pot possession. The pop-ups are intended to help New York farmers who grew massive amounts of marijuana and now are sitting on a surplus. The state, with their best intentions, has been very slow at issuing uh, licensed dispensaries. So you have 290 growers, you have 21 dispensaries. When farmers planted last year, the state indicated there would be up to 70 dispensaries open by now. It's twofold, right? I think the state also realized how much money they were missing out on in, in, on this slow route, rollout in sales. With a 13% tax rate, Pre -roll. the state is counting on legal pot to bring in more than a billion dollars before 2028. It's money in weed, so wherever the money goes, you must follow. These marijuana markets expected to pop up all across New York in the months ahead. In New Paltz, Ulster County, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And the New Paltz pop-up will operate every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday through December 30th.